Hey guys, I'm sorry I look a mess. I am a mess right now. Um, my fucking apartment. Okay, I've had Shooter for a month and a half now. And I just, just now, they want to have me give him away. Just totally give him to a new fucking family. Get him out of my apartment because he's overweight. Okay, he's like 10, maybe 20 pounds overweight, and they're only allowing 40 pounds. He's a good fucking dog. I've never heard him bark. I've never heard him growl at anybody. He's the nicest fucking dog ever. And they want me to get rid of him because of fucking weight. Okay, he's one of the breeds that are allowed in this fucking apartment. There's a pit bull on a fucking porch back uh, over there. Barks all the fucking time. There's no way no one can't fucking see him. And there's like four different fucking huskies in this apartment that I know of. All this this whole place. Not in this apartment house. But there's four different ones that I know of. And huskies get really fucking big. And with the fucking fur and everything, they're over fucking 40 pounds. There's no such thing as a husky being 40 pounds. Shooter. They have all my fucking paperwork for him. The first day that I got him, adopted him, I fucking saved his ass. I went straight up to the fucking... <sighs> Sorry, guys. Okay, so I went up to the fucking office, gave him all this paperwork. I told him, yeah, he is overweight. And he is overweight. I've been trying my ass off to get him at a decent weight. And of course, they're still not gonna let him stay because he's not 40 fucking pounds. Not all dogs can be exactly 40 fucking pounds. And when she gave me the fucking paperwork, she even met him. She's like, oh, is he here? I'm like, yeah, he's here. Did you wanna see him? Fucking love the shit out of her. And she's like, oh, he's so cute. Okay, then why are you making me get rid of my dog? My dog I've had for like a month and a half, and I'm already attached to him, hey, baby. I'm already fucking attached to this dog. He's family. No, no animal could just be an animal. They're family. They're your friend. They're they're your everything. They're like little fucking children. Like, really? And they're wanting me to get rid of him because he's overweight. Okay. And what about you know everything that you guys have done to me and other people I know of here? I gave them the paper. They even asked for a fucking deposit. And I've told a lot of people that they're like, well, that's really weird. And I know a couple of people didn't pay the deposit either. There's a lady up there right in front of the fucking office that has a husky. So didn't pay for it because she was military or something like that. I guess that's what they do with some of the military people. And still, they know all about him. They've seen him. The maintenance people love him. Then why are they having a fucking fit about him now? Why now, out of all days, to have a fucking cow about it? And they're giving me 72 fucking hours to get rid of him. Okay, my family lives all the way in Florida while I live here in fucking Texas. The bottom of fucking Texas at that. There's no way I'd be like, hey mom, can you pick up my dog? Because my apartment won't allow him here. This is absurd. I'm not going to give him back to the Humane Society where I got him. Because how they treat some of their animals is not good. He had fucking ticks. And I had to take him off myself. And I'm not going to fucking deal with that shit. So I have to put him, my friend's putting him on the Facebook thing for, um... El Paso and hopefully someone can take him and someone can take him and give him a better home and love him and everything. I don't want to get rid of him. I don't want to give him. He's my baby. I'm here alone and Richie's out and especially with him out in the field for almost a month now. He's what's keeping me, you know, active and awake and he's here with me giving it's fucking bullshit. This fucking bullshit. I should fucking fight it, but at the same time, I didn't pay the deposit. He's overweight. But at the same time, there are fucking animals that do not, that they won't even allow here because of their breed. And they're here. And there's no way people couldn't even see that shit. He's fucking bullshit.
get rid of you. What? I don't understand why they're having me give them away. Even <laughs> the people that I've talked to said that it's stupid that my apartment is being stupid about his weight. And he's only like maybe 10, maybe 20 pounds overweight in there. I think I said it before, but <laughs> um, 40 pound limit. And he's not that big of a dog. He's overweight and I've been trying to have him lose weight. And so far it's good. It, well, he's looking good. I guess I, I run with them and everything. And the place that I adopted him from, I went by there and they looked at him like, oh, he seems like he's getting smaller. You <sighs> told me it's going to be okay, honey. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not fair that I have to lose this dog. <sighs> All day he's been comforting me and it seems like he's telling me it's going to be okay, like no matter what happens, like everything will be okay. The dogs always have that sense that I love about them, that if something's wrong with they're going to comfort you. He hasn't left my side and I went to my neighbor's house so that I could put him, so they can help me put him on Craigslist and um, <laughs> and on um, a site for the dogs for the base and everything and hopefully <laughs> someone can take him. Even though I don't, I don't want to get rid of him. He's he's too sweet of a dog and I don't see why they're pushing it so hard for me <laughs> not to keep him. And it's, it's stupid. And this whole thing is stupid. <laughs> this kind of makes me sick. This might be the last video that I make that he's in. Because <laughs> he's like almost in all of my videos, it seems. <laughs> he's my little attention boy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this might be the last video that I make with you in it. Yeah, I know it's sad. <laughs> yeah, and it's it's hilarious because last night um I was walking him and I found a tennis ball, and um he never plays with toys. He's never played with toys or anything. <laughs> Hold on, baby. He's never played with toys or anything. And then when I brought the tennis ball home, he was playing fetch with me. And I loved it because he never <laughs> did anything like that with me or Richie. And then all of a sudden, you know, he wants to play fetch with us and stuff. And then, <laughs> oh, I gotta get rid of him now that I know how to play fetch with him. He's my baby and I don't want to get rid of him. People suck. People really suck. Alright, baby. I oh, know the lady even saw him and everything. Oh, he's so beautiful. And yeah, he's beautiful. Sorry, you gotta get rid of your dog. I want to fight this so badly. But, you know, I can't change the lease. I can't change the weight limit that they allow dogs to be and stuff. Is the right thing to do and the, my last resort is to take him back to the Humane Society to where I found him because they have they always have adoptions and where I got him um, place saddle blanket <laughs> there's every Saturday they have a dog adoption and I was the one that took off the ticks and stuff so hopefully with him not having ticks anymore um, maybe someone can you know Give him a home and everything. Maybe a place with a backyard. A place with a backyard. And you won't be stuck in an apartment all day. You would not take it for lots of walks. <laughs> well, that'd be baby. <laughs> Just hopefully stuff like this doesn't happen to you guys. I know it, it really sucks to, that it has to happen to me. Oh, I even hate to even cry on this video.
but it's a sad situation and I've only had it for a month and a half and the first day I got him I was I was hooked. He was my dog. He was oh thank you for sneezing on me. Hold on, I'll let you out on the porch and I just attached to him on the first day that I got him. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I just put him on the porch and Yeah, what I was saying is that it's it's sad that this has to happen to me. I wish it wasn't. I wish I had family close by that I can give them to and so that I can see him a lot more than just give him to a random family and me not seeing him at all. I don't even know how he's even going to react to the day that I actually let him go to a different family or to the Humane Society. All I know is I have three days to get rid of my, my dog. And it really sucks. I don't want to do that, but it's something that has to be done. Ugh, I hate crying on this video because I don't want to really <laughs> upset you guys or anything. Hey, baby. It just it really, really sucks for my situation. I just hope that <laughs> this just doesn't happen to you guys to where you have to get rid of a, a family pet or anything. Um, <laughs> I've lost too many animals to from oldness to where they die or me having to get rid of them. And I was hoping that he was one of them I wouldn't have to get rid of. But it has to be done and soon I'm just gonna have to come down and get better with this because I can't help this. I can't change it. <sighs> <laughs> I know I possibly sound weird to you guys, and my nose is really stuffy. I've been like crying on and off all day. Ugh. Ugh. I'm sorry, I'm usually not this messy, and I don't want to like put out there in the public that I'm a messy person. But baby, I know I love you. <laughs> Aww. I love you, baby. <laughs> Ugh. So. Okay, so I guess this will be my vlog just for this day. I don't know when the next time I'll be doing videos because I'm going to do with this. And I don't want to be so sloppy and nasty looking on my other videos. But whenever this gets done, I'll let you guys know how it is. And hopefully, when I doubt I'll be better. I'll be a mess. Messy than how I am now because when Richie's not here, he's with me. Mm -hmm. and <laughs> he, he sleeps right next to me every night and makes sure I'm okay. He never leaves my side. Ever. Ain't that right, boy? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Alright, well, you guys, I hope your week is going to be amazing. I was hoping mine would, but doesn't mean you guys can have a good weekend. So you guys have a good week, weekend. I know it's a four-day weekend for most people. So, you guys have fun, and uh, just kick the world's ass. Show them who's boss. <laughs> That's my tip for this week. I should give tips. Kick the world's ass. Be, see, tell, show people who's boss, and, you know, <laughs> just stay cool, guys, you know. Stay safe for this four-day weekend. People are very, very fucking crazy. And then, this might be the last time you guys see Shooter. I love you. I feel like I love you guys. I love you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>